Hi, my name is Michiel Frankfurt and today I'll be showcasing SSGI. Uh, this is version 1.1 and I will be explaining the differences between 1.1 and 1.0. Uh, first of all, big big thanks to everybody that already purchased the assets. Uh, the asset has been live for over a week now and it has been quite successful. So thank you so much, uh, lots of love. Uh, real big appreciation also to my uh, my testers that helped me test on all different platforms and uh, situations um, yeah this makes the, the product better so we're looking here at a scene uh, which is completely unlit no light maps no occlusion no emit occlusion nothing the only thing that's baked is uh, there are three reflection probes here or four i think uh, yeah, you need reflection probes, right? Uh, there's one real-time reflection probe and that's over here. So let's enable SSGI and let's see what it can do for you. All right, so as you can tell already, there's a lot of difference here. Uh, the object is very bright. You expect it to cast some light into the scene and objects like these uh, these barrels and uh, the character here, you expect them to uh, to receive some light from this, uh, this green object here. Uh, this already was the case, of course, in version 1.0, but the difference now with 1.0 and 1.1 is the encoding of light directions. So the light comes from the left side, and in version 1.0 the light would pretty much look the same, except that the definition in the normal maps here on the character's body would not really be visible. As you can tell, it's a very dark scene. It's run at the forward mode. There's no albedo pass available. There's, a, there's not much uh, information available to work with. So in version 1.0, the, the light looked the same, but it looked a little bit flat. There was no definition in the, uh, in the normal maps there. In version 1.1, uh, there is. So the encoded light maps uh, make a big, big difference. And uh, yeah, in post, we can do some beautiful uh, compositing there. And as you can tell, the, uh, the definition in the, uh, the character's body here it just looks way, way better. Let's just turn it off again. And yeah, you see, <laughs> you can tell the character doesn't have any uh, any light coming from the right side, but with uh, SSGI, uh, it does. Uh, another thing that I've changed is uh, I also boosted the, the way we reconstruct the albedo pass. So uh, what does this mean? Well, in deferred modes, there's a separate albedo pass, which gives us color information of the, the textures and the objects. In forward mode, this is not available. So the, the question is, okay, is a pixel dark because it's not lit or is a pixel dark because the texture has a dark color in it, right? There's no way to tell. In deferred mode, we can tell, but in forward mode, we cannot. And I use some trickery to reconstruct that, um, that albedo pass in forward mode. The reason, by the way, that this scene is in forward mode is because of the WebGL build. Uh, there's a link down in the description below, but you can actually play the scene yourself. It runs roughly 60 FPS on a RTX 3060 um, in 4K. So that's pretty good, I think. Um, yeah, and as you can tell, the difference is, uh, <laughs> well, it's quite profound, especially here, look in this area. It's one of my favorite areas here with the character leaning against the, uh, the barrels. And uh, yeah, if you enable it, <sighs> that's it's such a big difference. So I'm very, very happy with that result. Another thing I improved is the uh, reflection probe fallback. So this object is green and illuminates the scene, but it's a screen space effect, right? So as soon as it's off screen, uh, yeah, there's no way to tell that this object is there and uh, it shouldn't uh, no longer cast any light. But it does, and that's done through the um, the magic of the reflection probes that's, uh, that are part of the scene here. So if I disable SSGI, you can tell that the, uh, the pillars and the, and the beams here, they still receive uh, some green light, also the, uh, the barrel in the background there, and that comes from the, uh, the object here. Um, not a big thing that changed in version 1.1 is the, uh, the performance. Overall, on mobile, it's twice as fast. So I have a mobile preset running on a budget Android phone. Uh, version 1.0, the, the, the demo scene ran roughly 30 FPS. Uh, in 1.1, uh, that same demo scene runs uh, roughly 60 FPS. And uh, it, yeah, the shadows are more defined, um, the, the resolution is higher, and the aliasing is much better. So uh, yeah, a lot, a lot has changed there. Um, this does have a light source, the one that's flying here, uh, because I really like those translucent shaders I, uh, I mentioned. Um, and yeah, again, SSGI is not meant as a primary light source, it's only meant as a 
uh, as bounce lights or GI, uh, I still advise for you know, primary uh, light to always use unity lights because they're way more efficient. They allow for sharp shadows, although you know URP shadows aren't great, but it is what it is. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so the soft shadows and soft occlusion that you see here and on, on those uh, on these objects, that's all coming from the uh, the SSGI uh, pass. So um, yeah, I hope you like what you see. Uh, I will be submitting the uh, uh, version 1.1 today, and hopefully it will be uh, will be live in the stores uh, soon. So again, to everybody that has already purchased the assets, uh, please upgrade. There's a little upgrade note in the package as well. There are some steps you need to take to ensure everything works just fine. And uh, again, thank you for purchasing the asset. Thank you for your, uh, uh, for your continued support on the forum and uh, lots of love. See you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.